works. They're just so froze up right now. Both of them. Hey guys, Capper here. And if you watched our eight acre picker paradise series, you'll definitely want to check this one out. It's our first pretty good update on one of those machines there. So today I'm getting an update from Keegan. He's the one that bought the uh, international tow truck that was in tree jail. So let's take a quick look on how we salvaged this vehicle and the updates from Keegan. And don't forget, if you like it, share it. We appreciate that. Thanks a lot. These rear tires are all, all filled up. I can't believe that. It's almost like they're solid, but there's much air. We're going to start back here behind this uh, dump truck, or I'm sorry, tow truck. And I'll show you why. Here's a quick before look of the old international tow truck. Curtis is going to chainsaw and break this thing free. And then next time, we'll maybe we'll have a buyer by next time, hopefully. I got a buyer for the RV. For the RV? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so today is uh, December 4th, and we're getting rid of three vehicles today. This tow truck is going, a Dodge, and then uh, one of the campers. These rear tires are all oh, filled up. I can't believe that. It's almost like they're solid, but as much air as there is, I mean, how did they hold? How did they hold that much? All them years. Finally, we got a vehicle we could steer. That's been kind of a nightmare. Hey, she's rolling now. I might have to give him a push here in a second, but we'll see. Pro just quit, but uh, we're just inching it up the rest of the way. I'm just giving them a little help from the back. To... The wrecker has bailed out of tree jail, posted bond, and is going home. Okay, now let's get the updates from Keegan. Uh, he's been messaging me pictures and short video clips. There's not a ton of it here, but I'll put it in order the best I can so you can see the will it start and, of course, the rest of the updates. So let's check it out. Also, congratulations, Keegan. I'm really looking forward to when you get this thing up and running because it'll be pretty amazing. Who knows? Maybe I want to buy it from you. All right, so since that one was bent, I had to go get that one. 140 bucks. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? We rebuilt the rear end. The clutch come to turn out bad accordingly. Uh, I think Curtis said the other one was the same way. Haven't done nothing to the interior. No. 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 Okay. It is trying to go in gear now.
I gotta huddle this thing up or something. Put your foot on the gas. There you go. Oh, front's going. Yeah, they're going. They're just, they're just, they're just so froze up right now. Yeah, it's in gear. Is it moving? Yeah. Where? Both of them. <laughs> now it ain't moving. Was it moving? It was, yeah. Front's moving, back's moving. They're both moving. Look at that back. Here's the back, listen. No, no, no. You got to rebuild that front. It's not even moving close with that back's moving. Well, it's probably an open differential. Is that side moving though? It don't matter. The hub's even locked. They're midway. Well. junk though. gas in the driveway. He's spinning finally. Alright, let's see what this does. Holy f it works! Hell yeah! Buddy, I'm winching f cars out tonight. What's this do? Go rev it up a little bit. Tur turn the key off. Shut the motor off, dude. There is no What? You lost the key to it? All right, we'll pull the f***ing wire. I did get new booms for it, new pulleys. Those, those pulleys were locked up. Um, I got another boom. This one's bent. That one's not. It hasn't moved much. I mean, I did start sanding on the bed and stuff, though. 